Welcome back cadets. So in this video we're going to uh, explore input, how to get input from the user. Because right now we have hard-coded these values and this is not very useful, it's very boring. We want the user to provide these values and then this program is much more valuable. So we'll, uh, let's delve into, uh, let's explore first how to um, use this different way of commenting out code to make our life easier we could do like this put a slash a star and then in the end star slash and now we have commented out that code so we can focus on only that that we're interested of now naturally if i control z here there's another way we can do this we can mark all of this and then here comment out the selected lines and we see it's control plus k control plus c so you have to do this in succession so i press control k control c Nice. And then to uncomment to dot it, we have the reverse. Control plus K, control plus U. So control K, control U. Bam. So now let's comment it out. Uh, okay, so to get input, let's make just an example here. We use something else called console.readline. And even before I tell it, I just type dot, we see the two most used, these two are start, the right line and read line. I press on read line. And here we can get in the input from user, but we might want to do something more useful. Let's get the input. Let's say string input equal. So now we can use that. And then we can say CV tab. And then we can say you typed. And then I'll do plus input. Now let's run the program. And now it waits for us to type something and say, hey there. You typed hey there. So, not very advanced to get input. But the complication would arise because we are looking for not string input, which we see here. We have declared a string variable because we know that's what console readline will get us. We would want a double. So, if I had typed that, this would not be a double. It would be a string. It would look like this. And that's not what we want. So, let's get back here. Let's say um, we want to convert it. So there's something called double dot parse. And in here, you can type in console read line. And then we have to close the parentheses. And to verify that this works, let's go, uh, let's see. Let's see what happens if I leave the last line there. And then here with we'll output it, you enter. Now put a space here. Cause let's see what happens. It doesn't crash. We've done it correctly. Forty-five point seventy-eight. Ah, here comes the issue I was warning about, and it's because I'm in Sweden. You might be in a similar region with the use commas, and it says it's not in the correct format. So what we could have done is that we could have we would need to do something like this, culture info dot invert culture. So it knows we want it to uh, parse it as a dot. Now, you can already see that there are many different places we're gonna need to do that. It's a lot, of, a lot to type. So we're going to do something here that's a bit, you know, not very beginner friendly, but uh, at least you know it can be used to give you full control. So I want everything, both input and output, everything should be just dots. So we type thread, current thread and current culture and we're going to assign it that culture info we saw down there dot invariant culture now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl v and then i'm going to move here and i'm going to go for something else here dot current ui culture and now if we rerun the program and try to do the same 45.78 it works 45.78 and you entered so we have two use cases if we haven't done that when we get the input and when the output so now that that works now that we have that kind of control we can move on uh, and finish this uh, program in the next video